Okay, hello everybody. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Anton and I'm Cloud Foundry Engineer uh, at Altaurus. Uh, I have years of experience of monitoring uh, distributed systems and currently my team and I are developing uh, full stack monitoring solution for Cloud Foundry. So today we are going to discuss uh, how to never leave your Cloud Foundry deployment unattended and so but we don't have much time, so I will briefly uh, highlight some general ideas about monitoring your Cloud Foundry deployment. So let's start with our agenda. Uh, so as you can see, we will cover uh, our Cloud Foundry deployment layer by layer. Then uh, there will be a few thoughts about uh, updates, security, drills, and then I will share some of my tips or my thoughts. And finally, there will be question and answer sec section if we will have a time for this. So, uh, the first layer we're going to discuss is uh, infrastructure as a service. So, uh, what you can do to monitor your infrastructure as a service. So, uh, you can monitor availability of infrastructure as a service itself. So, for example, uh, you can monitor availability of, uh, availabil of data centers, of availability zones. Also, you can collect metrics and create alerts based on these internal metrics. Uh, you can do this if your infrastructure provides you some kind of API. Uh, if not, you can uh, still use some kind of vendor-specific monitoring solutions. And also, it's really reasonable to monitor health of your virtual machines. So good candidates uh, to start are CPU, memory, input-output, network, and etc. And also, it's uh, really reasonable to monitor availability of your virtual machines. So, for example, monitoring agent up and running, uh, and virtual machine is reachable. So, uh, our next layer is Bosch, and as you know, Bosch is crucial layer of Cloud Foundry deployment, so you have to make sure that you properly set up monitoring of your Bosch director and Bosch deployed virtual machines. So uh, in case of Bosch, uh, you can't and you probably should uh, set up email notifications because uh, this, this email notification, you receive a lot of uh, interesting uh, event notifications like uh, about processes on your virtual machines, about SSH events and about uh, your deployment state. For example, deployment is started or someone uh, tried to connect a virtual machine and failed and so on. And uh, also, it's reasonable to set up a uh, log forwarding in Bosch director. So we will receive logs from Bosch. And also, uh, it's really reasonable to collect metrics. So in this case, Bosch uh, Health Manager uh, will provide you with basic metrics for your virtual machines like CPU, memory, load average, and also it will provide you health status of your virtual machine. So, for example, uh, in terms of Bosch, it means that uh, virtual machine is running, all processes, all job up and running, and virtual machine is reachable. Uh, but if you want to gather some advanced metrics, uh, you may consider to use uh, some separate monitoring agent like uh, Colleague D, Telegraph, and something like this. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, next, where? So, it's a Cloud Foundry itself. Uh, so, what you need to do here? Uh, once again, you need to collect walks and by logs, I mean both logs from uh, platform itself and from applications. In this case, you can use Firehose to collect uh, logs from applications and from some uh, and from some uh, internal components. And uh, you can use uh, syslog forwarding to collect uh, metrics from Cloud Foundry components and maybe from some kind of third-party services like Redis, MySQL, and so on. So. Uh, the next step is to collect metrics. Uh, 
And once again, you can use Firehose to collect metrics from internal uh, components of Cloud Foundry, like Cloud Foundry API, like Diego, like UA. And you can use metrics collectors uh, to collect metrics from external components, like Nginx, MySQL, Postgres, and so on. And also, it's reasonable to set up alerts bas based on uh, logs and metrics. Uh, and you, need, uh, you don't need to, uh, for example, from, st uh, from the start, you don't need to decide which metrics uh, are relevant or not. You can find a uh, very comprehensive list of valuable metrics in key performance indicators in Cloud Foundry documentation. And also, I will suggest you to set up URL checks, uh, for example, URL checks of Cloud Foundry API, of UA, I know it's a really simple advice, but uh, it gives you an opportunity to look at your Cloud Foundry deployment from the outside, and uh, this is really good stuff. So, services. So, for services, you also uh, should collect metrics. You can use uh, collecting add-ons for this. Uh, they usually have a lot of plugins to do that. Or, and also for some of uh, services, you can use Firehose to collect metrics. So uh, nowadays, a lot of Bosch releases include uh, integration with uh, Firehose, so we can have metrics out of the box. And of course, you will need to set up alerts. And uh, for these alerts, you can use vendor's recommendations. Okay, and uh, just a few notes about uh, monitoring your applications. So, really simple but really useful uh, is to set up URL checks for your applications. And also, you need to collect metrics. You can use uh, application performance monitoring to do that. So, you will have some kind of uh, automatically generated metrics out of the box. but Personally, I don't really expect that these metrics will cover everything you need, so I prefer the second approach, more uh, old-fashioned way, I guess. So you can just instrument your code and send metrics to some kind of time series database, and uh, benefits of this approach is because it's a cheap and fully controlled uh, way, so therefore you can define uh, metrics with the real value. So, yeah, in cooperation with automatically generated values or uh, metrics from APMs. And also, you need to collect logs. So, uh, there is at least two ways to do this. So, we can connect to Firehose and receive all logs from uh, all uh, the from whole Cloud Foundry deployment from uh, for all applications, or you can stream logs from particular applications by using uh, service instances of Lock aggregators. Okay, uh, let's talk about updates. So it's really great to keep track and install latest version of services because they have security fixes, uh, bug fixes, and new features. And also, uh, you need a new version of stem cells because of security fixes. But uh, if you do, uh, did this at least once, you know that this is very boring task to do. So I suggest you to use some kind of uh, continuous integration for updates. So it can be concourse because it have a uh, great integration with Cloud Foundry, or you can implement uh, continuous integration with CI tool you like. But seriously, uh, installing uh, all updates of Cloud Foundry or Pivotal Cloud Foundry is really boring stuff, so it's really reasonable to use continuous integration for this. Uh, security. So uh, please keep, keep track of common vulnerabilities and exposures. You can find them on Cloud Foundry website. And uh, if you have CI, you can install all these new stem cells and uh, services automatically. But it's reasonable to sign up to email's newsletter of CVS. And just a few thoughts about drills. Uh, if you have a possibility to make drills, uh, it can be a really good tool in your pocket because uh, 
you will be able to understand uh, what can broke in your code foundry deployment and it's really reasonable to simulate a uh, crash of specific virtual machines, crash of uh, data center like data center outages and network issues. And if you do this, uh, you will be sure that your deployment won't let you, won't let you down uh, at the time of real life failure. So if you can do drills, please do. Okay, and just a few tips from me. So uh, please ensure a sufficient coverage for your monitoring, but refrain from overdoing it. Because too, my, uh, too many alerts and metrics will create information noise and uh, trust me, it will kill your monitoring because, because you will get used to them and uh, eventually you will, uh, you will not notice them. So start from something small and only then uh, grow your monitoring, your alerts and so on. And also uh, it's really reasonable to create some kind of knowledge database every time you face uh, some problem and you fix this problem, don't forget to add this uh, solution to your knowledge database. And also it's really reasonable to write postmortems. So future generation will understand uh, what you did. And also uh, I can suggest you to create simple but very useful alerts based on uh, basic use cases. So for example, you can use basic user workflow for doing this. For example, uh, what uh, users do every time. They log into UA, they list applications, they open URLs. So you can create alerts for all these uh, steps. And also you can create alerts based on basic metrics like uh, error rate, availability, and so on. <coughs> okay. Uh, and just a few words uh, about our monitoring solution. Uh, it's called Heartbeat. We have system monitoring and basic application monitoring, high availability, scalability, integration with logs, uh, a lot of predefined dashboards and alerts, and a lot of integration with third party services. And just a few words about our logging solution, it's called uh, LogSearch for, uh, for Pivotal Cloud Foundry. It's based on open source LogSearch for Cloud Foundry. So you can use open source version for your uh, open source Cloud Foundry and our tile for your Pivotal Cloud Foundry. So it's a really major product and it's, uh, it's really easy to use. And that's it. So uh, if you have questions, please go ahead. We don't have a lot of time, but maybe we can take one question. The next talk, the speakers are in the back, but um, maybe we can take time for one question for Anton. Okay. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, guys.